Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you a project that I call Emerging Leaves using the Emboss Resist technique. It creates a fabulous and vibrant focal image, but still allows for a clean and simple card. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this project. First, you're going to need some embossing powder, and I'm using the Ranger Superfine Detail Clear. You're also going to need an anti-static pad to remove static and oil from the surface of your cardstock. You're going to need a Versamark pad. You're going to need a couple rubber stamps, and I'm using two of the stamps from the Autumn Splendor Stamp TV kit. I'm using the Gratitude Block, and then I'm using the Solid Leaves. You're also going to need some Distress Ink or other kinds of ink, but I really like Distress Ink for this technique. And I'm using two colors. I'm using the Frayed Burlap, and I'm also using some of the Forest Moss. And then you're going to need something to apply the Distress Ink, so I'm using one of the Tim Holtz Foam Applicators. I'm also using some of the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury Ivory Heavy Base Weight Cardstock. You can use the lightweight cardstock too. It doesn't matter. The layering weight is just as good. Um, but when you make the card base for this project, you do want to use the heavy base weight. I'm going to begin by inking up my gratitude block using some of the Distress Ink in frayed burlap. And then I'm going to stamp that right into the center of my piece of ivory cardstock. After giving that a moment to dry, I'm going to use the anti-static pad on top of the entire piece of cardstock so none of my embossing powder will stick to the cardstock anywhere except where I stamp it in Versamark. Now using my chunky leaf stamp, I'm going to ink it up with some Versamark ink. And you want to make sure you really get it inked up well so that there's no shallow patches anywhere. And Versamark's pretty easy to see because it does shine, so you can just kind of look at it in the light and see if you need to ink it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to stamp this right in the center of that block of words. And make sure I get a nice, solid impression. Now, though you can't see that, what's going to happen is once we emboss this, uh, these leaves with clear embossing powder and ink it up, the leaves are going to emerge up out of the project. So I have a piece of folded cardstock here, and I'm going to sprinkle my embossing powder right over the leaves that I just stamped in Versamark. And then I like to blow away any excess just to make sure that there isn't any stray embossing powder anywhere. And by using a piece of folded cardstock, it's very, very easy to replace the embossing powder into the jar. Next, I'm going to emboss it using my heat tool, just until it comes up nice and shiny and solid. I don't want to over emboss it because I don't want to burn my embossing powder. But you'll be able to see it right away as it comes up clear. It gets nice and shiny. And if you hold it at an angle in the light, you'll be able to see it perfectly. For my final step, I'm going to use a little bit of the Distress Ink in Forest Moss, and I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Foam Applicator. Now you want to make sure that you've given your embossing powder a chance to cool. It doesn't take very long, but you still need to let it cool down because if you touch it too quickly, you can smear it. I'm going to ink up my foam applicator tool with some of the Forest Moss ink. And now, when I use Distress Inks, usually I like to work from off the paper and work my way on to the cardstock, and that gives it a very, very even look as it comes in. But for this, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're actually going to start right in the center of the project, and we're going to go in a circular motion. 
And I'm going to stop here just so you can see what's happening. You can see how the leaves are starting to make an appearance because we're actually making the ink the darkest right in the center of the leaves and it's going to kind of fade out as it goes around the outside. So I'm putting a lot of pressure right in the center and now I'm starting to lighten up my pressure as I work my way outside of those leaves. Just kind of making an oval shape like that. And then to finish it off, you're just going to take a paper towel and rub over the surface of those leaves just to remove any of the ink that was just resting on top of that clear embossing powder and that will make the leaves pop just a little bit more. Here's a look at my final project and as you can see it's a very easy card to make but that focal image really stands out. This card looks beautiful with simple layers like I've done or you can simplify it even more by stamping directly on the card base.